chances are he just checked the turn card. Then I have no doubt Dan would have bet and might have won that pot, so. Fall through shove? Nope. Didn't think so. <laughs> Well, the Andes are going up to 5,000 blinds, 20 and 40,000. And to the next hand we go, Dan O'Brien. This time, look who's got the aces. Big Dan. And he raises, makes it 95,000 to go. Andy Seth behind him with the queen jack. You were going to make a play on the last pot. That didn't work out. The very next hand, you pick up two aces. How much did you start the hand with? You got a um, love. It. About a million, 1.05 maybe. He's got a million left. He's got two aces, and he's just praying this guy comes over the top of him. Just makes the call. Incredibly, Vince, we started this final table with three guys in their 40s and three guys in their 20s. The guys remaining are the three guys in their 20s. So youth prevailing once again on the World Poker Tour. Andy making the call here. McLean folding out of the big blind. So here we go. What a flop for Andy. He's flopped three queens. This could spell doom for Dan O'Brien here. Pretty unbelievable. Now well, Andy checks. And Dan's going to check. Good check behind him. Wow, that's incredible to me. Turn card, a four of spades. Now well, Andy is now reaching for chips. And he is betting 165000 here. Now well, it's amazing that Dan suspects it looks like that the guy's got a queen in his hand for some reason. Wow, he's just calling. With two aces, Vance, incredible. It is. Two diamonds, two spades on the board. Down to the river we go. Seven of spades helps neither player. And it puts three spades on the board here, which is why I would have raised on the turn with the two aces, just in case your opponent has two spades in his hand. It's back toward a flush, and now you're sick. It's 220,000. Call. It's been called by Dan. And he mucks the two aces. But Vance... Pretty sick. Incredibly, he didn't go broke on that hand like he well could have. He checked on the flop, checked on the turn, and made a crying call on the river. Really wish you would have bet more, bro. Ah, man. But Andy Seth. Nice value about that. Running good, as we say, flopping three queens to take down that pot. Oh, wow. You'll see what I had that time. That is pretty disgusting. Monster hand. Is Honestly, like, that would have been the sickest thing ever. I almost folded on the turn, I swear to God. I'm trying to, what did you have that, that was so sick? Go ahead, Dan, say it. You'll see. Is it, will it change that much if you tell me what you had? I really, like, I really almost folded mm -hmm. the turn. Like, I, you can't fold the turn there, I guess. But I, I almost, like, but I thought about it. God, 210, what are you doing? Put a real bet out there. I really would have folded. I, mean, I think the guy's lucky to be alive. Yeah. All right, Andy, he raises to 135,000 to go with a king-queen. But our chip leader, McLean, with a pair of sevens. Lane's in the small blind, contemplating what to do with two sevens. Call. He's going to make the call. Now it's on Dan, who he's a little stunned after those aces getting picked off. He has Jack Deuce of Diamonds. Oh, look at this, Vince. He's going all in. Welcome, Tommy Tilt. How much? Well, he's making what we call a squeeze play. How much That's where one guy raises, another guy calls. Can I get the total? Without bringing in you come over the top raising, thinking if the first guy goes out, the second guy is going to fold as well, and you win the pot. He has pushed it in. Maybe a little frustration from the last hand. Well, and he's got a man sitting behind him, so he throws his hand away. Now, if you're sitting in McLean's seat, what do you do with two sevens? You know, chances are your opponent didn't pick up a pair, because that only happens one time every 16, 17 deals. I call. He's made the call with the two sevens. Dan O'Brien is sick right now. But it's not over. So Dan, the former day trader, has his stock dropping very fast. <laughs> Needs to get lucky in the next five cards. Otherwise, back to Wall Street. Well, the Air Force man out in front with the two walking sticks. They stand up. Dan O'Brien will be walking out of here. Flop comes up 5-5-3. Five, five, no help for Dan. So Dan needs to catch two running diamonds, two running cards to make a straight or a jack to take the lead. The tennis spade comes off. We are down to the river card. Dan O'Brien must catch a jack on the river. Otherwise, he'll be out in third place. Can he pick off a miracle here? Eight of spade comes off. 
So the poker pro now living in Las Vegas, Dan O'Brien, going to retire tonight in third place. He played wonderful this tournament. I honestly ran like God, you know. That was a big effort, great instincts by this young pro. Going to pick up 292,000. He's disgusted. But we are down to two players. Heads up action about to begin. Well, you know what that means, Vance. That means they break out the cash when we're down to heads up play. And there you see him putting it on the table. It does look pretty cool. That's a lot of cash. Winner gonna take Coco to 900,000 with it, the beautiful WPT bracelet. There's the cash, the trophy, and that coveted WPT bracelet. That means just one thing. We're just minutes away from the start of Heads Up Action. All right, don't miss the conclusion of the exciting Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. We're coming right back. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour, where Heads Up Action is about to start here at the final table of the Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. And Mike, the cash, the title, and that beautiful WPT Tiffany bracelet all on the line. Who will be the last man standing at the Bay 101? I think Andy's chances of taking down this tournament are really well. He is really strong fundamentally, he knows the math, and he has a really good feel for his game and what to expect out of him. So you know, I think Andy's a huge favorite to win this. There you see for us, Jock has got confidence in his man, Andy Seth. But Vince, McLean Carr has got 4.8 million. Andy Seth starting with 1.7 million, but the guy who's the current leader for the WPT Player of the Year thinks his former roommate, Andy Seth, is a favorite. I'd have to disagree with that. Well, here's the first hand. Ace nine for McLean. He's raised it to 120 to go. Andy now looking down at an ace seven. Two solid hands here on hand number one of the heads up action is going to re raise. Yeah, he makes it 3.30 to go. Mullins. And quickly, McLean goes all in. Oh, boy. And Andy goes all up, trying to figure out what to do now. Does he want to put all his money in with this hand? He is up against it. McLean has ace nine. He has ace seven. If you could only phone a friend right now, and that'd be the guy you'd call right there, Faraz Jaka, the guy who's currently leading the point standings for WPT Player of the Year. And he says tournament life on the line, perhaps, if he makes this call. Only 23 years old. Can he make the right decision in this moment? A fold. Well, Andy's going to lay it down. So McLean extends his chip lead. We heard Faraz Jaka say what math knowledge and how fundamentally sound Andy Seth was. Well, all I know is this. McLean majored in operations research, which is applied mathematics from the Air Force Academy. My guess is he's pretty good at math himself. <laughs> I bet. Okay, to the next hand we go. Andy this time with a queen three. And he's just going to call. And well, limps in and calls, and McLean said, okay, let's have a flop. McLean with seven five. Oh, and it's come eight seven five with two spades. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, McLean checks. McLean with sevens and fives. Andy with nothing. Well, Andy's bet it. You're going to see a check raise here, that's for sure. I'm all in. And a quick over the top all in by McLean. He's going to take down the pot. You just can't just call there in case your opponent's got some type of straight draw or a flush draw. You've got to make him pay for it. So McLean extends his chip lead. And Vince, it's hard not to like a guy who went to one of the service academies. He, of course, went to the Air Force Academy. But all those people dedicate four years of their lives to serving the armed forces. You've got to respect them. He's getting a little payoff now, perhaps, because he is pummeling his opponent, Andy Seth. But this time, McLean gives up his hand. It's really quiet in here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Thank you. All right, to the next hand we go. This time. All in. Andy with just Jack Nine of Diamonds says all in. I call. Well, he's been called by the Ace Four Diamonds of McLean. So Andy says, turn my life on the line, and he's up against it. McLean out in front with the ace high. If his hand stands up, he'll be our champion. Andy Seth going to have to get lucky to double up to stay alive here. Let's see if he can do it. Did the young player get impatient and just push it too early? No, oh, maybe not. It's come jack 9-4. So Andy Seth takes the lead with two jacks here. McLean looking for an ace or a four. Still two cards. And he just stumbling around with jack nine. Gets lucky on that flop, but it's not over. We're going to the turn. Well, a six comes on the turn, so we're down to the river. Andy Seth will double up unless an ace or a four comes out there. If that happens, McLean Carr will be our champion, but no. Just trust me. Unbelievable. Three of diamonds on the river. 
So the match continues, Vance. Nice say, Andy. Andy Seth lives on. Terrific battle from the Bay 101. Stay with us. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Welcome back to the Bay 101 Shooting Star here on the World Poker Tour. The heads up actions continuing, and the Andes are at 10,000. Lines are going up to 50 and 100,000. The match gets closer as Andy Seth just doubled up a moment ago. Let's see if he can keep the momentum going. The Air Force man, McLean Carr, with about 3.8 million, takes a look at his hand. He has just an 8 6 of clubs. 200. And he's going to raise on the button. The minimum raise makes it 200,000. And to young Andy. He's got Queen 10. And he's going to make the call, wants to see a flop. And here comes that flop. And what a flop for Andy. He has flopped the stone cold nuts, the best hand possible, a king high straight. Absolute cinch at this morning, and he's going to dig the hole, put the branches and twigs over it, wait for the sucker to fall in. Well, McLean does not make the continuation bet, and wisely so. Now a six comes off, so McLean makes a pair of sixes, but Andy, of course, with the best hand possible. Nothing can beat him from here. And Vince, if I was him, I would check again. Yeah, keep throwing that rope. He is reaching for chips, though. Yeah, he's going a different way. He's going to bet it. Yep, he's betting 285,000. I fold. McLean, who even though he made two sixes, lays his hand down. In, Andy. And right now, if you're Andy Seth, you're looking for one of those barf bags to give you in the plane because you're <laughs> sick your opponent didn't make a bet there. <laughs> You really are. You're saying, I meant check. Uh, did I say bet? I didn't really mean that, of course. All right, back to this hand we go. Andy Seth now looking at a pair of fours. Well, any pair and heads up hold them is a big hand. Here, Andy looks down at two fours. He's going to raise it. Makes it 210,000 to go. I buckle up because McLean has a pair of eights. When you play hold'em, you only get a pair once out of every 17 deals, so it's a 16 to one shot, and yet both of them have got pairs here. It spelled trouble as McLean is re-raised right here. Yeah, makes it 585 to go. Lowen. And there you hear it. So he moves all in. I call. And he's been called. Well, tough luck for Andy here. His opponent's got an over pair instead of a race situation. And McLean Carr is over an 80% favorite to win this pot and take this title right here. McLean on his second WPT event, got this tournament to a $1,200 satellite, and now he is just cards away. Oh, we, got, we still got cards. So we'll becoming see, a we'll WPT see. champion and a very rich guy. Well, there's his girlfriend, poker player herself, Maria Ho. Right now, she's hoping the two H just stand up. They're a big favorite to do so. I mean, I feel, I feel real good. I feel real good. Here comes the flop. King 10-3. So far, so good for the Air Force man. Back door is, back door is open. Claims two eights out in front. Andy Seth is going to have to catch a four to win this pot, or two running spades would do it. Well, it's an ace of clubs. No luck for Andy. He is almost down and out. McLean one card away from the championship. And he must catch a two-outer, as we say. Must catch a four in the river. Otherwise, he'll be our runner-up. Well, it's an ace. So that's going to do it. The graduate of the Air Force Academy, McLean Carr, is our champion. Complete celebration for McLean Carr. He played well. Going to take home close to 900,000. Did I really just win this? <laughs> And I just trapped the guy so good. This war. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a job to do. Look at he's right here. I'm rich. Well, there you have it. Another champion and another great final table on the WPT. Congratulations to our champion of the Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. Wow. For Vince wow. Van Patten and everyone at the World Poker Tour, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what this is for. <laughs> <laughs>